Hey, hey guys. guys, and welcome back to Smutty Buddies. I'm Isa. I'm Priscilla. And today we're gonna be talking shit. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be um, talking about a lot of shit that's been going on in the book community. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of drama, a lot of people that are upset. There's been a lot of updates, uh, fucking updates. things with movies. Yeah. Um, we're also gonna go over some books that we've liked this year. Yeah. Highlight. Just a little snippet of everything for you yeah. guys, because what the fuck not? Yeah. Till we start our Halloween special. Oh. Y'all not it's ready for gonna that. Be, it's gonna be spooky. <laughs> it's gonna be spooky and slutty. Spooky in the sheets. <laughs> and another thing, guys. Mm. This this is gonna be uploaded on the day today. Our bookmarks are out. Yeah. Ah! Applause. <laughs> Ooh, tomato. tomato. <laughs> oh my god. Our bookmarks are out. Yeah. So if you want to snatch mm-hmm. one, um, we probably have the link up on Instagram on our story. We probably have it on TikTok. We're, it's gonna be in our link tree. Yeah, so wherever you see a link tree, tree, just click on it, and yes, we will be there. I think we have it on YouTube. The Maybe, link tree, probably I'm pretty sure yeah. you could check that out too. Mm-hmm. But to anyone who does buy them, thank, thank you. you. Literally, don't even yeah. want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Compose yeah. yourself, but literally, like, yeah, okay, yeah, crazy that we're coming out with that. Period, yeah, she stop your me with Let's not do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> not, not today, no, not today. Maybe for our one year, for our one year. Okay. It's coming soon. That's true. It's coming oh my soon. god, our I birthday. <laughs> we'll cut a cake with you guys. We could do a birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> meet and greet. Uh, birthday celebration. Who wants to meet For us? the pod? Who wants to meet us? Shit, we'd have a good time. Yeah, we would. We'd shake hell ass. Shit, yeah. If you haven't exactly. come to Miami, we know how to fucking throw it back. Yeah. We know how to throw it back. We I'll, could I'll put make some sure. clips here. No, I'm kidding. No clips. I'm <laughs> shaking <laughs> Here's a clip of Isa <laughs> taking a shot off my titties. <laughs> <laughs> we have them, so... We have them. Um, you guys could take shots off my titties, too. It's okay. <laughs> and you off your ass. Sure. In yeah. between my booty cheeks. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I... Oh, another update. Guys, we're going on vacation. Yeah. I know. Don't miss us. Together and then separate. And then separate. Don't miss us too much. Yeah. But we'll be back as soon as we can. As soon as we can. Yeah. So next week, uh, there probably won't be an episode. Yeah. There'll probably be an episode the following week. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. I know. I know. I know. I think it's going to be the first week. Since we started, that we've that we don't post. taken a break, but it's you know sometimes much needed. We're going to Halloween Horror Nights, yes. so if you live in Orlando or are going this weekend, bitch, I see you there. What is it? September? What are, what are we going? We're going the 29th. 20th. The 29th. 29th. We're, we're gonna, going to the yes. park, but we're gonna be in Orlando twenty seventh yeah. to the thirtieth. To the thirtieth. So, yes. I mean, link up. If so you want. yeah, if any of you guys are there, sure. I mean, you might run into us, but yeah, yeah, guys, you're not gonna have us for a week. Um. I don't you guys know. will be fine, I promise. I don't know who's going to make don't you laugh. Don't too much. I don't know. What, I know you yeah. guys are going to be depressed. You're not yeah. going to be able to laugh, like, at all. Like, yeah. It's going to be rough out here. It's no be jokes. No jokes. Nah, ain't, ain't nobody yeah. doing it like this. Search up, search up, like, I don't know, Adam Sandler or something. I Just like rewatch it. our videos. Yeah. <laughs> Go watch your, your favorite so video kidding. of us. I'm so kidding. Or scroll through TikTok. Our clips are funny. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Okay. Not that so. our ego. That's not most our ego. No, no, no. It's just because some of them they really be making us believe we're funny. Yeah. They I mean, really be I like mean, ah, 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 the comments. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we really that funny? Nah, you know we're funny. We're funny. We're funny. The way we funny. make men laugh. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. That's we don't need know. we don't need someone to tell us. We just know. we just know. We Bitch, gotta like in that. the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <it's funny. laughs> we just, just two jokesters. Yeah. We could do stand up comedy. We're just two jokesters. <laughs> Two clowns. <laughs> Two slutty clowns. I'm scared of clowns. Me too. I'm fucking terrified oh, okay. of them. <laughs> like, why do you think I'm not getting any near any clowns in Halloween Horror Nights? Especially you Especially one with a chainsaw. No, hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> Me what? What were you going to say? No, I was going to say, you know what we could do? What? I feel like we would be really good hosts for something. Anything. <laughs> I mean a book event give us a panel <laughs> give us a panel bro for real we want to go okay. to actually we were going to talk about this we want to go to 
you forgot sinners, the name? <laughs> sinners and stardust. Yes, ball. we want to go. We yeah. want to go. We want to go. The tickets go on sale next week. Yes. It's for next year in August. In Boston, Massachusetts. Yes. We want to go really bad. So, who knows? So, we'll see. Cause we'll see because... A look what happened. Yeah. <laughs> they, they did us dirty. Listen, I don't know. I don't know... Who got tickets for that? I... I I said I haven't. I barely I even know. seen people say they're going. At this point, it's a fucking conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, like the underground book talkers, apparently. Yeah, the OGs. Not us. <laughs> Not we us. newbies. Yeah. We, we don't was, know what we're doing. There was no way we were getting tickets to that. Nah, they're but like, me. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> that bro. URL is not getting any tickets. They saw her IP address. Yeah. No. Not them bitches. I know them. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, we should do a fucking panel. Yeah, we should. Like with the authors, I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> what comes to your mind? <laughs> How do you figure all these positions? Yes, because they um, all come in my. Miss Bryn Weaver, <laughs> um, do you have them piercings? <laughs> <laughs> Did you try that ice cream <laughs> before you wrote about it? <laughs> <laughs> a little, maybe terrible. she put like salt on a oreo what yeah what does that have to do because it was with? cookies and cream and cum is salty so maybe if you put salt on an oreo that's what it tastes like and then dip it in milk because it's gonna be creamy <laughs> so it's soggy it's salty but it has oreo sweet yeah <laughs> creamy because of the oreo cream and the, the other real cream <laughs> yeah make sure and the other cream <laughs> lots of cream going on mm. it's cookies and cream cream all caps the cookies is just a side just a little sprinkle of cookies <laughs> hmm. i don't even know what to say <laughs> what is she ruining in the in the third book i think she said it was it gonna be cotton candy cotton candy yeah i don't you know i'm not a big cotton candy girl me neither. It's just um. It's fun to like. It's um sugar dust. Yeah, sugar dust. Sugar flyaways. Yeah, basically, and it melts in your mouth. Yeah, it's a little strange. Yeah, I'm not a three year old. I'm okay. But um, yeah. Period. Yeah. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. So. Okay. The first thing, because yeah. I think you know more about this than I do. What the fuck is going on in the dark romance committee? <laughs> <laughs> committee <laughs> the community <laughs> community oh sorry it's almost 9 p.m people i mean dude i don't know what's been going on on book talk lately like Bro, everybody's like fuck you <laughs> it's kind of scaring me at this point like you can't say anything without someone coming for you Damn. like Bro, I don't like. I honestly, you honest to each their own. I love dark romance. Mm -hmm. I know you are forced to read dark romance. <laughs> To a certain extent. But I don't judge no one for but, it. Exactly. You're not going to see me on TikTok like, you listen fuck to, all you girlies. Yeah, you listen to the stuff I talk about. Yes. When I tell you about my nasty ass yes. books. But I'm not like, oh, y'all like guns up your coochie? <laughs> fuck y'all. Y'all fucked for that. Yeah. No, not happening. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, it's, guys, it's fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. I don't want a pew pew up my coochie. That wouldn't be the first thing I would want on my coochie. What would be the first thing you want up your coochie? A dick. Okay, good answer. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> what about an animate object? <laughs> if I had to if pick. If you had to pick, what would you pick? Probably a gun. So then you do. <laughs> <laughs> so then you do. I mean. <laughs> what about like a fucking crowbar? Bitch, write that down. If there's any authors, <laughs> write that down, bitch. I mean, that's a good idea. I mean, a crowbar? I mean, the gun is a blunt object. The screwdriver that one's, handle that one's is a blunt wild. object. That's wild. So, like, these are blunt objects. A crowbar is not blunt. Y'all gonna fuck some shit up in there. You're not gonna be able to have kids. Um, that being said, you could persuade me. Into a crowbar? No. Into oh, something else. Into the pew pew. Maybe. Okay. I would have to be like really into it. You need a lot of baby oil. <laughs> Girl, you're gonna get a UTI. Use that. 
just use lube. Um, if I had to pick an inanimate object, fuck, I don't even know. What the fuck can I use? And I mean, I know people use like toothbrushes, but that's like very thin. Maybe up your butt. <laughs> I'll put a toothbrush Maybe. Up your butt. <laughs> Maybe. It's very long. At home, anal plug. <laughs> toothbrush. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what I would. There's a way for you to put it in your booty hole and then his booty hole. Like together? like. <laughs> but he's going to get the bristles. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 you're going to be brushing his ass <laughs> inside and out. <laughs> Might as well just throw some soap in there. Just to, cl- to clean it out. <laughs> Ew, bro. That shit comes out brown. <laughs> that shit comes out brown. Oh, hell no. Guys are oh. nasty, so I don't... You know, sometimes when you shin, there's like food particles. It takes out like a piece of spinach or something. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Like corn? Like corn. <laughs> bitch, talking corn. about corn, bitch. A whole corn. I ate corn yesterday. I had diarrhea this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that always happens, but corn is amazing. Yeah. Corn is the best vegetable out there. It's corn. <laughs> I haven't heard that in so long. Okay, so, um, yes. Yeah, but going back to the... To the the book talk community dark romance yeah. i mean guys there's been a lot of drama a lot of drama going on haunting adeline little stranger dude i don't fucking know at this point i mean y'all it's got, just you guys have nothing better to do at this point it's just than to, people love giving their opinions and they love and I feel, hating on shit and i feel like it also has a lot to do with attention oh okay like just because you ain't Elaborate. posting good book talk videos that's not my problem so you're trying to oh she's, they're trying to get attention <laughs> attention by hating because that's what haters do that's the only way they can get attention so that's true they gotta hate on something that makes sense yeah. that makes sense yeah uh and also i mean i made a video about this guys there's something called trigger warnings when you open up a book mm-hmm at least most of all the dark romance books I've read have trigger warnings. You read them if you want to. If you feel like you have a trigger, you probably should maybe think like, mm, this book isn't for me. Why? If you're not, let's just say, if there's a lot of non-consensual scenes sometimes in books if that's not something you're into and you see it as a trigger warning don't pick up a book that has a non-consensual scene yes but then they still get mad because i recently spoke to an author about this that they literally put in the fucking trigger warning yeah there is sa in this book oh no but it's a fucking issue because you didn't elaborate yeah you didn't specify i mean i don't think you i'm sorry but as like a reader a lot of the times, trigger warnings sometimes are spoilers. Because mm-hmm. they are. They are. And why go into detail in the trigger warnings when you kind of don't need to? You could literally just put, there's essay in this book. There's non-consensual scene in this book. That's it. If you're, that's not something you're into, don't go and pick it up. Then when you get to the non-consensual scene, it doesn't matter who it was with. It doesn't matter, like detail wise if you're not into that don't read it i mean that's common sense yeah i don't know girl. i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you yeah um the only thing you could do is just say uh, fuck them whatever is their opinion is their opinion yeah. you just read whatever the fuck you feel like yeah. reading whatever makes you happy whatever makes you your day your night whatever helps you sleep at mm-hmm. night <laughs> then don't get mad when like you get literally canceled talking about canceled um i'm not gonna mention her name because i don't want to give her more publicity than she already has period (laughs) (laughs) what is going on with this supposed book talker that's scamming authors oh (laughs) girl oh my god yeah so like you said we're not gonna mention mention no she's been mentioned enough (laughs) yeah but girl I, i saw besides her scamming authors i saw that she's writing a book okay i and hope like, they scam her and i'm like girl you don't have time to promote one book or like one little fucking video like i don't know bro like go read this comes out october 16th 
written by anything this anything tropes enemies to lovers small Even, town romance forced proximity i don't fucking know you say some little cosita you know like little something something promote the video or whatever you agree to with the author Post the video mm. and then that's it. But you could write, I don't know how many fucking chapters she's written off her fucking stupid ass. No, book. but you could literally just like, bro, even take a picture with the fucking book. Yeah. Post it on Instagram. Yeah. Like, I, I'm sorry. Every time we get an arc, I feel like fucking honored yeah. to have an arc. Like, I'm like, I can't believe we got a fucking arc. Yeah. And of course, you want to post about it. Of course, you want to, like, especially if you love the book, mm -hmm. you're going to want to fucking show yeah. it. Like, what are you doing just taking these people's fucking their money their hard like work and uh, yeah i'm too busy yeah. and whatever like whatever you agreed to with the author i completely understand if like let's say like you get an arc and you're like mm, like maybe i don't post it now let me wait until i finish reading it reach out to whoever sent you the arc i know that sometimes like there's like certain rules when we get arcs like based on like your review or like if you don't like it they actually tell you like oh let us know if it wasn't something that you liked hmm. like there's like other stuff you could do besides just like taking the author's money of their works and then just like of course oh my god like fucking give it back i don't know yeah like i, I don't know yeah give <laughs> it back the money in the fuck give it back yeah. refund <laughs> um but talking about arcs there's something i wanted to talk about actually that actually just came to my mind there's surprisingly a lot of fucking arcs out there. Like, you go to sign up, and it's like, oh, you're basically forced to give this book a good rating. Yes. Anything below, like, three, four stars is not accepted. Yeah. The fuck? Like, no, I don't want your arc then. Yeah. I'm and not going like, to sign that. Like, which I agree on. But also, eh, because what if you really like the book? There's been times where, like, like I've received an arc and it literally says, like, don't tag the author in your review. Okay. Which, like, I completely understand. Yes. But, like, what if you liked it? Like, I would want them to, like, see that I enjoyed the book, which I totally get. Like, maybe it's, like, the author. Like, a lot of the times, like, you spent months. I mean, like, I'm not a writer. Like, I've never written a book. But you spend months maybe years writing a book Sarah J. Boss. and then <laughs> literally you look at the reviews and people bro people are mean yeah they people are. are mean they're fucked there's certain there's a certain way that you could say that you didn't like a book mm -hmm. i most of the time if i don't enjoy the book i will just say it's not for me yeah because it could be for you it's not for me that's totally fine but there's people that they take it to like a whole nother level and like i could only imagine as that author reading that review mm -hmm. so yeah no yeah for sure and if you have a bad thing to say about a book don't tag the fucking author yeah. that was another don't. thing with the dark romance drama that was going on don't tag an author you think they want to fucking see that like yeah. they put so much work into what yeah. they wrote okay it's not for you you didn't like it yeah you could post a video saying oh this is my opinion that's fine everybody has their own opinions yeah <laughs> obviously yeah there's been books but, that we don't like but don't tag the author like yeah. if i were the author i wouldn't want to see that I'd be like where the fuck did you tag me <laughs> yeah Bitch, i would literally then, block. yeah block <laughs> exactly then don't question why you're getting blocked by authors period mm. uh, exactly <laughs> exactly don't be like, uh, i don't know what i did what did i do bro you scroll down to your page you're like fuck this mm. book this book was trash, trash. piece of shit it. oh my worst god worst book of the century terrible writing i don't know what the author was oh, fucking right. oh why am i blocked yeah why am i blocked yeah. no or, at least like i feel like we don't we don't like talking badly about books no sometimes it does come out yeah sometimes, sometimes i will okay it. <laughs> but a lot of the times when we talk about books especially like the way that we do mm -hmm. if you guys don't know i'm pretty sure like mostly everyone that watches us we're literally joking yes we're joking we're joking like probably 99.9% .9 of the time we are joking <laughs> yes like that's just the type of people we are like sometimes especially we see it in our comments a lot of you guys not a lot i don't want to say a lot cuz that's not the right word but people take this stuff like personal Yes, or like the wrong way do, yes, and that's yes. like that's not the way we meant it like yes. we're just joking around uh -huh. but i mean like, I my could, fan cast for nico yeah, the, I could, the whole <laughs> nico situation yeah i'm sorry in my head i'm not reading about a 19 year old 
I'm 25 years old. I'm reading about a 29 year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I like I like that guy as Nico, but Mike. But yeah, yeah. um, we don't. And you're never, bro. You're never gonna see us post a fucking clip, and from our podcast, like bashing an author. Yeah, never, or, never, and or doing that and tagging them. Hell no! Oh my god, how embarrassing. <laughs> I would, yeah, end it. Yeah, and I know that sometimes, like, we post funny clips, and I'm like, like the authors have seen. Them. Oh my god, girl! I know like, exactly what you're talking about, Miss Elsie Silver. Silver. <gasps> we posted a clip. It was the hot tub scene, and we were kidding around. It was the one video that she fucking commented, commented on. And we were completely fucking yeah. around. We were talking shit about it. Yeah. Saying like, because like, this is shit. a high school party. Yeah. You called him a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we were joking. We were joking. And like, I don't even think we tagged her in that video. No. We didn't. It just popped up on her for you page. Great. And we were like, fuck. And we weren't even talking bad. But I it was like, to- we, were, we were making, you know, yeah. we were making a joke. Yeah, I and had to go and double it. check that she didn't block us because I love her. Like and she saw it. Yeah, she saw it. And I was like, of all the videos. Yeah, but we weren't talking videos. bad. We actually really enjoyed Heartless. Yes, we were. That was talking a five bad. star read for me. I think for you it was a four star read. Yes. Yeah, like it was a really good book. Like we weren't talking bad about no, 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 it no, at no. all. No, 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 no. But no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> we like. <laughs> we like. We promise. Yeah. Like we said before, we would never like diss a book. No. On our channel and then tag the author not happening no not no, happening no, 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 no. like we'll give our opinion respectfully always like i'm not yeah. gonna be like this author doesn't know how to write this author's trash no yeah. never um we'll voice our opinion yeah but that's it like we keep it pushing yeah. we go you know through the mm-hmm. book we laugh we yeah. make jokes you know sometimes we can't help it we have to just yeah. make jokes but that's also <laughs> like part of like us as book talkers and us as like who we are in our podcast we're gonna give you guys an honest review a hundred percent if we didn't like the book Mm -hmm. we're gonna tell you guys like hey it wasn't for us this and this and this you know like sometimes we pre-plan what we're gonna read that doesn't mean that we liked the book it's it's normal for us to like like make a video on a three-star book on a two-star book whatever we decided to give a five-star book Mm -hmm. whatever we decided to give it but it's not something that we're gonna lie to you guys about like if it's we didn't like it we didn't like it and you could say that respectfully and you could see it on our goodreads if you really want our opinion (laughs) good it's fresh and good reads oh, open wound yeah like literally you close the book and it's yeah, yeah. good reads is nice. yes but that's why we would never sign anything that says you are forced to give this book because if it's bad i'm gonna yeah. say it's not good don't read yeah. it don't read it yeah. in my opinion it's not good <laughs> i'm not gonna be like oh this book is amazing, amazing. oh my god God, go read it now so good and i was like they go they're dying to finish it like, there's no story not in a good way it's like 900 fucking pages which yeah. is never that serious i mean it's never that serious i i enjoyed some i mean girl we read crescent city yeah but that's different i'm saying if the book is bad oh okay, and it's like okay, 900 okay, okay. pages yeah 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 and bro Why? i honestly this is like a really bad thing that i do but i hate dnfing books I have to see it through because I'm like, you know what? Like, maybe it's a two star or one star right now, but maybe it could be a, a three or there's, a four. There's potential. There's potential. So I, I got to see it through always. Always. It's bad. You're I have a strong woman I know, for that. I know. Thank you. <laughs> not girl. When I'm not feeling it, I'm like, yeah. X, mm. good reads, mm. red, DNF that mm. this percentage. Yeah. <laughs> not for me. Yeah. Not for me. Another thing with arcs is, girl, the amount of people lately that I've been seeing posting, or like authors at least posting, that their books are on the fucking internet before they're even out. What? Like piracy. Piracy? <gasps> piracy. 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 Yes, bro. What the fuck? It happened to Lay Rivers. <gasps> they have a vol. I think with a what? A vol. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen you've never seen the 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 movie The Mole? It's, no, it's not called The Mole. But he's like Yeah, I know. His, yeah. They got the vault. Yeah. And he's like, You mean a mole? Mm-hmm. And he's like a vault. Mm-hmm. 
They have a vote in the company, bitch. No, girl, it's not that. Oh, then what is it? It's like people that get arcs and then they fucking <gasps> post them online. That's so fucked. Yeah, I know. That's so fucked. Oh Which, my gosh. That's why I feel like lately, this has happened, I think, to like two arcs that I received, like through my Kindle, that it says like on the, like either on like the top of the arc or on the bottom of the arc or like the last page of a chapter it'll say like this copy was made and then it'll say like our email yeah so like if you send it out yes, they're I gonna know like bit, girl are you stupid if you be sending that i see that and i hope that they could fucking sue because yeah. i would sue the fuck out of whoever yeah. to publish that it. happened i'm like pretty sure that it happened to lay rivers and harley beck with their they wrote a book together with chokeholds which i read is super good i recommend Step Brothers nasty nasty but yeah it was like out before it was even out and they were able to see who it was i'm glad yeah i'm glad they were able to fucking see and take them off their team no and take their fucking money and put me in because i wouldn't want to be on there oh. <laughs> i promise you i will not show no one my arcs <laughs> no one's gonna get them no but the way i would fucking sue your ass so. Ooh, yeah mm. in the future if we ever make a book that's gonna be a fucking mess it's gonna be dark fantasy yeah i don't fucking know yeah. teacher student age gap single yeah. dad <laughs> all types of fucking all arts. types of tropes arts, tropes my all bad. types of tropes all we have tropes. talked about it the um, the mess that we created when yeah. we decided that we were we, but we would write a book if we were to ever write a book which i don't know about because i'm not a good writer but i'm a good dreamer <laughs> the imagination um, is there y'all getting sued <laughs> I'm fucking suing your ass. I'm taking. Listen, your money. I have a lawyer. I mean, you know, I have a lawyer. Period. I have a family lawyer. And we taking the money and, and we, we publishing another book. I'm calling that motherfucker Matthew. Matthew, you gonna get it from Matthew? <laughs> you gonna get that letter in the mail? <laughs> now, personally, 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 you gonna show up? <laughs> Smutty buddies, you've been served. Well, not we're not serving. No, like like. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Smutty buddies serve they you. Serve you. Yeah. Yes. We yeah. served you and we're yeah. serving, bitch. Yes. <laughs> we're serving what? Cunt. Cunt. Uh, but yes. Yeah. Um, and we are actually, like, we're a company. We're actually a company, if you guys period. didn't know that. <laughs> so, like. Professional. Don't be trying to take some buddies because y'all going to get fucking sued. <laughs> <laughs> y'all think I'm kidding. Don't try to take it. No, we actually have an LLC, so don't play with us. Oh, period. <laughs> Not that any of our, sound one of our professional. <laughs> I mean, we are professional. Yeah, we're professional, <laughs> professional on the outside. Look at our setup. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our setup. Look at our but setup. yeah, no, yeah, no. I don't think any of our followers would try that. Nah, nah. But uh, we've seen some smut buddies, not smutty buddies, but smut it's missing the T and the yeah, Y. I'm like, <laughs> you were this close. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, two more letters, bitch. You would have been served. <laughs> <laughs> I would have seen you in court. I was sure just like this too, like fat as fuck. <laughs> Third. I demand a million dollars. Matthew! <laughs> Matthew! <laughs> oh my god. Matthew served mm. their ass. Nah, they'll Boom. get a warning through email first. Yeah. Take that shit down. Get that right mm-hmm. If not, yeah. Oh, I don't bitch. even know if we're nationwide or just in Florida. What? Our company. Are we nationwide? Why are we nationwide? <laughs> Don't be putting that out there. <laughs> um, but yes, yes, period. Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about. Mm-hmm. Did you see Margot Robbie mm-hmm. spoke about Akatar? Yes. <gasps> bitch, bitch. She wants to turn it into a TV series. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all know Margot Robbie got her own production company. Mm-hmm. Um, and <sighs> I feel like it would be good. It she would be good. Could be more. She is amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. Um, if someone were to do this, it would be a woman. Has to be a yeah, woman. Because the men, the men ain't doing it. The men don't do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at how many times it's been picked up and not continued. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's like in the fucking wilderness right now, in the fucking dust. In the leaves. In the trees. Yes. In so um not sure what's going on with Hulu. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they cut ties already. Yeah, I think they did. Thank the Lord. Can we um, just get Aaron Taylor Johnson somewhere in there? As who? I don't know. Who would he be? I don't know. Mm, well, Tamlin? Let's start the Leon Court. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Lestat <laughs> from Interview with yeah. a Vampire. I'm sorry, he is the perfect, mm. perfect fucking tan man. He, you know, he's a little girly pop, but that's fine. But I, that's fine. We can As Tamlin, those vibes. Oh. Bitch, so good. He even rages like Tamlin. He's so oh, it's that he's he's an amazing actor, mm. Mr. Lestat, the Leon Core. Mm. He's a uh, guys. If you haven't watched Interview with a Vampire, it's something. Let me tell you. Oh, it's something. Oh, tell me that's not fucking Tamlin. Tell me that's not Tamlin. Tell okay, me, t- t- yes, it's Tamlin. It's Back Tam- to Aaron Taylor Johnson because that's what's important. <laughs> Aaron Taylor Johnson as. I wouldn't like him as a ginger. No. No. No Lucy, no, no Eris. Um he, Damn, no, but the bad no. boys are tan. Girl. Yeah. Like and he 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 pasty. He pasty. He pasty fuck. like me. Like us. Give him I don't know, Kalias. I mean, the winter, the winter motherfucker. Sure. I winter could see court. that. I could see that. Court. He could be like a side character. That's giving fine. as long as he just main character energy as long as he just shows up yeah as long as i get to see him as long sure as shows up. or what about nah nah Who? i was gonna say the 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 guy from the summer court not turkin mm. the one that this girl's with what's her name fuck what's her name i forgot her name who amarin who's amarin with doesn't she oh. sleep with some motherfucker yeah with um oh, a guy from the summer court yes right mm-hmm. but he's not giving summer no, no, he's no. giving he's winter. winter. He's giving winter yeah. or fall. Yeah, but with no ginger hair. No, no ginger hair. Yeah. Um, well, but yeah, um, not fall. Um, is that I have such high expectations for anything Akatar related, anything thrown a glass related. Yeah. Like, I feel like it should be a movie. It should be like a movie series. Give me a multiverse. I agree. Like a TV series, but the thing is, is that like, I don't know. And it's it's getting to the point where like every time I think about it, I'm like, do I even want it at this point? Like, it has to be good. It has to be good because if not, it's it's gonna be like the fucking Witcher. Yeah. Which ugh, yeah, the Witcher was so fucking disappointing. I feel like if it's picked up by Amazon, I believe. Okay. Who are the ones that are doing the fourth wing? Mm, I know they're doing the fourth, fourth wing, wing, but they did. Aren't they doing the show that I'm watching now? The the rings of power oh yes 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 power of the rings yes i think it's rings of power yes they are doing that they one. did a pretty good job yeah, with that show amazon that, got that shamanic. yeah that i feel like if anyone could pick up akatar and do it good it would be them it would be them 100 yeah. percent. and i'm actually really excited now that i saw a show like made by amazon i'm actually pretty excited for fourth yeah, girl they out. have a high budget yeah and michael b jordan michael b jordan michael b jordan yeah fourth As- wing <sighs> Zayn what has else? to be fine. He has to be fine. Girl, is that they all? They're all fine. Yeah. They're all fine, but you know, humans aren't AI. Yeah. We can't look perfect. Like, girl. You give me like a younger, younger. It's like he's too old. Who? You give me like a young tan, tan, like tan, tan. Like tan. Like tan. a Hispanic Aaron Taylor Johnson, young. A Hispanic Aaron Taylor Johnson? <laughs> yeah. Like Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, girl, Aiden is... Uh, Aiden. Zayden is supposed to be, like, tan. He's yeah. supposed to have color. Yeah. So, like, a Hispanic. He got know, that like, melanin. Like a Puerto Rican or a Dominican. Ooh. Ooh. I feel I feel like a Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, girl. Yeah. We need some some spice. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, I don't know. We've been let down so many times mm. by fucking adaptations yeah. that i don't have high expectations yeah. but i do for fucking akatar i do because y'all will not fucking ruin that for us we will riot yeah we, we will, will. Riot. and honestly i feel like sjm wouldn't even allow it i hope i not. feel like she wouldn't like bro i really hope not like she better fight she puts her love into her work yes so i feel like she would not like she would she moved to la when the show was gonna happen and then she moved back to new york because i guess they decided not to fucking do it so she was clearly gonna be like very involved yes unlike certain authors that they just want to fucking cash grab they just want the money do i should i bring her up who oh bring her up some movie that came out oh that in my opinion it was good i sobbed i'm not gonna lie were you on your period 
Yes, I was. Okay. Then. If you guys haven't caught on by now, it was It Ends With Us. It Ends With Us. Okay. I haven't watched it. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I haven't read any of her books. It It was good. I don't feel like it was the best it could have been. I don't think it was adapted perfectly. Mm. I mean, no, I feel like no movie or show is ever going to be as good as the book. The book I just, yeah. I just, I, I don't think so. Except for Outlander. Okay. Outlander. Hunger Games. Yes. Hunger Games. Yes. But yes, Which, continue. This coming out. That's actually coming out. <laughs> oh my God. We didn't so, even. Yeah. Stop. Because I'm so yeah, excited. I'm so fucking excited. But yes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like me. Like they changed so much stuff. And there was a lot of stuff missing. And like Atlas was barely in the movie. I love that name. Atlas. Yes. Yeah. I wish I could name my baby that. But it might be a little strange. But I guess. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> future, future baby. <laughs> future uh-huh. baby. Yes, um, But yeah and there was a lot of drama going that's on. that's what i was that. gonna say yeah there was a lot of drama between uh blake and blake justin Lively. and justin bubble yes because apparently he wanted to he, he wanted had, it to be more centered one, yes with the domestic violence yes and her i don't know there was just a lot of stuff going on in the movie like song choices like there was they put lana del rey for like one of the scenes that I'm like, I don't think Lana Del Rey fits here, mm. but okay, we'll go with it because it's like, it's Lana. It's, like, it's yeah. modern. It's modern. Like when they added the Taylor Swift song, I was like, okay, like it made sense. I was like, whatever. Okay. I'm not a Swifty. For all you Swifties, don't hate me. I'm not a Swifty, but I'm like, okay, like I can see the vibes. I can see the vibes going on here. Okay. But when they put Lana, I was like, hmm. And then she, I guess the whole drama that was going on is that she was more romanticizing the movie okay where like it's not a romance movie like it wasn't even a romance movie at all like her love interest after like the domestic violence is atlas and like i said atlas was barely in it so and like even with her and ryle like her love interest like the the one that she has the domestic violence issue with i wouldn't pers- like i wouldn't really say that it was a romantic, romantic. movie I don't know. Like, they meet, and then from, like, them, like, dating, you kind of get, like, one of those scenes in movies where, like, they show, like, clips of them, like, dating, if that makes sense. Like, the cutesy stuff. Yeah, like, the cutesy stuff, and then it gets back to, like, the drama. Okay. So then I'm like, yeah, like, I don't know. But I just saw a lot about her her hair, her hair care, which it looked fucking wild. Her outfits at Thong? Oh, Oh my my God, God, bitch. Bro, I'm sorry, but when I read the book, that is not how I pictured her (laughs) dressing like i don't know who approved of that maybe she did maybe she's Girl, like, she was wearing is, like boxers like on under like cargo pants or jeans or some oh, shit like know, that girl. she trying to be gen z you know she, i was she trying to she trying to dress like another this. thing that pissed me the fuck off which okay i understand some people liked it they made her older in the movie but i kind of liked that she was young in the book because it makes her okay to be stupid let's just say that (laughs) like i could like you get me okay younger me would be like okay like you know he's not too bad me now i'd beat the fucking shit out of him Mm. you know what i'm saying like i just what are you doing almost 30 years old yeah it wasn't very realistic is what you're saying yeah i mean which it's like a hard topic and there are people like mm-hmm. throughout their whole lives going through this like there's some people that they never even break the cycle like yes. they stay in a relationship that toxic and violent which is sad to say but i enjoyed her being young in the book mm-hmm. him i understand why he would be older because he's a doctor so there's no way that he would be as young as he was like, okay unless he was like a resident or something but there's no so, way you're like a neurosurgeon when you're like 20 something so there's also like kind of a how do you call it like fuck how do you call it when in the workplace what do you mean the workplace what you have like a toxic relationship with your manager like oh, there's a there's a term for it a toxic work environment no there's a hostile forget it a hostile no a hostile work environment no, no, no. forget it I but like it's just hurts. like the relationship the fact that he's older he uh, 
is a doctor yeah like he's higher up yeah. and he kind of like uses it to his advantage yeah. and since she's younger you know it makes more sense yeah for all of that to happen that's why i was like kind of i don't know it made more sense when i read the book now it, it was kind of like when i watched the movie i was like me and like also like her situation with the dad and her not getting along with the dad because the dad also used to abuse the mom mm. like uh, it was there was a lot of and when you think about it like her and atlas like the 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 time that they were meant to see each other again wasn't supposed to be as much as it was in the movie is what i'm guessing because they saw each other the last time when they were still in high school and then now in the movie i'm guessing that she had to be almost 30 or in her 30s so it was a long time before they saw each other again compared to the book that i think it was only like six or seven years Hmm. i don't know it's just it's tricky when you try to turn something into a movie into a show yeah especially with such a hard topic because that but I just wish that, like, for example, like, showrunners, producers, directors, I wish they would just stick to the book material. Like, there is yeah. good story, good book yeah. material. Like, why would you want to take away from that? But I think that Colleen Hoover was, like, pretty involved. And she was the one that, like, agreed to a lot of the changes. No, yeah, but I mean, like, in general, like, with multiple the adaptations. Book. Another that, book that yes. I, I, we did not know about. Mm. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Is apparently being turned into a movie. Which, how did we not fucking know yeah. about this? How? How did nobody tell us? Because y'all fucking know. Y'all <laughs> fucking know what that book did to me, bro. I have a fucking tattoo. That's how we much, were that's how much it touched things. me. It, is that even talking about it? Like, whenever I tell someone to read that book and they talk to me about it, yeah. I fucking cry. You know who's going to read it? Okay. Who? Paula's going to read it. Oh. Shout out to Paula. Oh, my God. Paula's watching this. And she's going to sob. Yeah, she is. She's going to sob. Yeah, she's Cause fucking I, I'm not an emotional person. That book made me sob. It's that it's my yeah. favorite book. My favorite book ever in this world, in this universe. Mm -hmm. And they're turning it into a movie. I swear to God, if they fuck it up, I swear to I God. I don't know. I feel like mm, I'm trying to picture someone that she could be. Like, who would... Addie? Yeah. What about this girl from... She has to have freckles. What's her name? Daisy? The one that did the, the tornado movie, Twister? Yes. Right? Wouldn't she be yes. cute? Yes. As Addie? Yes. But yeah, she does need to have freckles. But... <sighs> and... Mm. Bro, if they fuck it up, I swear to God... I will fucking riot by myself if I have to. I can't believe they're making that into a movie. Like, I know. it's gonna be. No, but when v they Schwab, even when they even decide this, I don't know. I don't know. But V Schwab. Is, I hope this is real information. Guys, v Schwab is a fucking artist. She's uh, a genius when it comes to writing. She doesn't just write shit. She writes like art on a paper, literally. So I feel like she would be very in this the, project for the movie yes because everything that we she need confirmation is very very thought through it's very it's just it's so beautiful that's the word it's just beautiful it's just beautiful it's so complex yeah she's an artist but anyways if you have not read that book if you haven't read The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, yeah. go fucking read it. Even if you're not into fantasy or into your very, like, romance little... That's not what you're going to get in this book. You're not going to get the little No, you're going to get... You're going to get life. Yeah. You're literally going to get life. Yeah. And uh, sadness and realistic shit like depression and all types of... Ugh, it's just yeah. beautiful. And I don't think about it too much. another thing, if you guys like fantasy, is that all of her series are just a darker shade of magic? <laughs> My God, that one also not, made me fucking sob. I have not read it. It made me fucking sob. Also, the the other book I heard that it's like villains. <sighs> it's just it's amazing. But anyways, um, Cruel Prince. Cruel Prince is becoming movie show, something like that. Timothy Chalamet. Hell no, Damiano from Madison. <laughs> he gonna have an Italian accent. Um, 
It's Timothy. And who's gonna it's be Timothy. Jude? It's Timothy. Well, it would have to be someone Hispanic. Miss Jude Duarte. Like, yeah. Hispanic. I feel like. Latina. Yeah. The fuck? Mm. Who's she gonna be? She needs to be. It could be Timothy and Kylie Jenner. Girl, hell no. Oh my god. Hell no. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Butcher and Blackbird. That's Butch gonna be. Oh my god. Which, I don't know. This can go either very good or very bad. I think it's going to be good, but I'm interested to see how they're going to do some of the scenes. I want gore. I want, like, when they go on their annual killing spree, Mm -hmm. whatever the fuck you want to call it, their little competition, I want it to be good. I want detail. I just hope that they add more violence. Okay. I hope they add more violence. I think, as you guys, eh, as you guys know, the book for me was like, meh. it was meh. I think the movie could be done very, very well. I think if they make it a violent but comedic, yeah, movie, like rom com, so well, dark rom com, dark, yes, where yeah. like something violent happens and they just fucking joke about it and it makes the audience laugh as well. Yeah. Something like that, not taken seriously. I really like the book. It so has I'm potential. I'm really excited for the movie. It has potential. Yeah. Um, but again, I have no And how they're going to do some of those scenes. I'm very interested. Oh, how they're going to show the pussy. How are they going to show her coochie? They're with not going to show her. Scenes? They're not going to show her coochie. I think <laughs> she's going to he... open her legs and it's going to flash in. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like fuck. I feel like Rowan would just be like, "Wow, there's a lot of stuff going down mm. on there." He's like, "You did that for me?" She opens it and it's like, "Kring kring." It's like coins, fucking utensils, and he's like, "Oh my god, yeah. what the fuck? Is that for me? What the fuck is that?" Or maybe they'll just scrap that, but they shouldn't. They yeah, shouldn't scrap yeah. it. No, they as should. you guys know, yeah, we keep it, keep it in the movie, yeah. please, uh, yeah, please. Um, don't show it, but you know, keep there's, it bedazzled. There's many, there's many ways that you could insinuate. Insinuate? insinuate insinuate that she that she's is, pierced up yeah that she bling yes. bling there, she bling, there could be out. reflections he could you know? just say it could be reflected in his face oh god <laughs> her pussy gonna taste like pennies yeah probably probably oh my god um, and another one that you really like magnolia parks magnolia parks oh my god the fact that i didn't even know this was gonna become a show and i already know it's gonna be good because if they make it like Gossip Girl, it's supposed to be like Gossip Girl in London. I hope that they don't make it cringy. Like how they're making all these new Gen Z fucking shows. That it's like, oh my God, like, period, sir. Yes. I mean, we do talk like that, but yeah. But you know what I mean? Like when it's scripted, it's like not, it doesn't hit. Honestly, talking about shows that are like now modern, but. So I'm watching Tell Me Lies. Mm-hmm. And I feel like. One of the reasons why I like it so much is because it takes place in the past. Okay. Like, it pla- it takes place in the early 2000s. The best which, era. Yeah. Which, there was no social media. The language was different. I'm like, fuck, bro. That's probably why I'm enjoying this show so much. But I'm interested to see how they're going to do Magnolia Park, especially with all the fucking drama that happened to that show. Mm. I'm, like, pretty interested in it. We'll see. And who they're going to cast. Massimo is Julian Hates. He a little old Yeah, now, he's already girl. too old. I need... Ugh. That man aged like in two fucking years. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Dude, he's bad. It's the smoking. God damn. It's, it's the like cigarettes. His, his crow's feet reach all the way down to his fucking jaw. He's still fine though. Yeah, he is. But Especially know. when he got a cigarette in his mouth. God damn. I accent. don't condone smoking. Smoking is bad gives you cancer Don't it just sm- looks good it looks oh my god you and the know, way that like, he like smokes it and it comes out of, oh do you god. like like this or for men do you like like this i think i like like this for men though N- have you seen the the no one girl from peaky blinders oh thomas shelby when he used to smoke it like this stop bitch thomas shelby when he used to smoke it hiding you know why they smoke it like that right why it's because in the trenches when they were in the war so that you couldn't see the light it, it covers it Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd be like, you learn it. Oh, girl, that, I'm so ready. That's another one. Well, it's not a book, but I'm so ready for that movie to come out. Yeah, but bro, like season one, season two, Thomas Shelby, mm. Killian Murphy, bro. I don't know. Who? Just, Killian Murphy. 
The actor, Tombe Shobe. Isn't his name Cillian Murphy? Killian. Oh, it's Killian? Okay. Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. <laughs> season one, season two, Killian. Oh my God. He was just. <laughs> ideal he was he's short but yeah it, it don't matter it don't it's matter. okay it's okay it's, it doesn't matter that's fine. why i never say oh killian murphy you know it's thomas shobe thomas shobe is the one i like because honestly it's a, he needs to have that that fit like yes, it's so it, that's up. why when he was in what's that movie that he did quiet place no oh. oppenheimer oppenheimer oppenheimer, oppenheimer? Uh, but, but the way that he dressed he dressed like piggy blinder styles and Damn, that's bro, why bro. i was like the way they dressed back then, like, damn, bro, can, like, can my boyfriend just dress like that all the time? Can he get, like, fucking tattoos up to his neck? There's a guy. Can he, like... I don't know who it is. There's I know a guy, exactly who you're talking about, girl. There's a guy on TikTok... I know exactly who you're talking about. ...that he dresses like that, and he has tattoos I know everywhere. Ex- I know exactly who you're neck, talking about. Neck, hands, I'm, bro. And he got, like, a fucking buzz cut. That's yes, like, yes. And he ideal. even wears the, the little hat that they wear, and I'm like... Girl, yes. Oh, bro. Ideal, ideal fucking My boyfriend type. be asking me why the fucking same video is playing on repeat. <laughs> it's okay now i got no. a privacy screen bitch take away your, sc- take away your phone <laughs> no but oh my god that's why like you, you know back then i used to love long hair man bus cut season is in ladies yeah i know we like can the we, bus cuts can we convince my boyfriend to get a bus cut i want to be able like, guys comment maybe if he sees enough comments comment for my boyfriend to get a bus cut i know you guys don't know what he looks like but he has long hair and i want a bus cut so yeah. comment comment for him to get a and bus cut when when they're down there i want to be able to Smack their fucking bald ass head. The fuck? Oh, I don't know why I thought you said something else. I thought you were talking about their balls. No, like their balls being bald. No, but then I I remembered what you said. I like some hair down there, but the top. Yeah, girl, don't make it look like a rat. The bus cut. Something about the bus cut lately. Like I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm maturing. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I used to be like, oh my god, long hair, long hair, long hair. Fuck the long hair. The bus cut. I want him to look like a criminal. (laughs) Prison. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like that's what it is. It's like the criminal look. Yes. With the, oh my god just picture with fucking neck tattoos like and a wife beater <sighs> oh my god bitch oh my god even give him some face tattoos I'll let you I beat this know. pussy I don't know bitch <laughs> a wife beater it's okay you don't even make me your wife but you can beat my pussy up oh well I don't like the word beat okay <laughs> don't beat my pussy up <laughs> fuck my pussy up yes there we go fuck it up <laughs> fuck it up but yes um another thing i want to talk about criminals there's another thing i want to talk about the fucking mm. insane mm. person who decided i'm gonna make a book on a serial killer that oh actually my god kills the one I, people yeah. in real life uh, and uh, the Wait, man looks ridiculous i'm sorry i think it was it's I, okay i don't know his name and i'm probably it's probably better that we don't say yeah, his yeah, name yeah, yeah, but it's i don't know if you guys seen this man or his trial going on because it's an actual fucking criminal. Yes, that's, that's killed women. Yes, that has um face face tattoos of a skull. Of a skull. And people not only did someone decide to write a book and base the main character on him, but there's people romanticizing him. That's insane. And I'm like girlies no girlies no we're better than this girlies what are you doing what are you doing that man killed women women's rights the fuck feminism not only that (laughs) he's an actual fucking killer yes like i'm sorry um did the brain cells get lost but that's so like did you fucking suck too much helium that's so inconsiderate like to the families the families are fucking lost these people like yeah Oh, even the victims themselves, like, bro, that's so yeah. disrespectful. Not only that, that's but so I'm sorry. Nasty. Like, that's so disgusting. You kill people in books, that's, sure, I'm here for it. But, but we're life? not gonna romanticize no. an actual killer. Like the other girly. We're not the other that. girly that romanticized the fucking brothers. Oh yeah. What is I going mean, on? <laughs> what is and that, then now she had was, to she had to bring the dark romance committee committee that, <laughs> community community and that happened this. literally like this don't, don't yesterday. bring them don't bring them yeah into this. i don't don't yeah. the, listen which honestly the like, dark romance girlies already have enough on their plate with people telling them what to read what not to read yeah don't be don't bring them into this girl don't yeah. don't don't swim. it's not them it's you yeah so 
Yeah, girl. But I don't that know. was especially no, and that one. I mean, they're both fucked up situations, but regarding the Mendez tragic. brothers, they themselves have a sad story. Yes, it's tragic. So, the fact that you're romanticizing someone or someone's because it was multiple of them that are victims mm-hmm. because yes they committed a crime but then themselves were victims yes and then you're romanticizing them that's a little fucked up that's very fucked up that's like, that's not okay they went through some fucking shit yeah and it's like oh, yeah. it's that i can't is that who would think of that i don't know 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 yeah and i i mean i've read we've read books of serial killers but but when it's like real life, that's something. Yeah, that's, that's something, something different. But like, you don't touch that. No, don't like don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Like, how would how would you feel if someone was doing that about your situation? Yeah, that's not fucking cool. Obviously. I feel like that's why. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of authors tend to in like the beginning of their book, they put like a little note saying like oh like this is fiction if there's any like correlation like name wise or something like it just so happened to be like a coincidence like it wasn't on purpose yes because it's fake yes it's it's fake it's fiction it's fiction we're not we're not talking about real people doing criminal activity yes no so So, i don't know girl yeah it it it's kind of unbelievable, but it it's happening. It's happening. It's, it's happening. happening. And I don't, yeah, I'm not sure what y'all thinking. But if then, if it's making you happy, sure. Yes, no. And don't bring yeah. a whole community into this. Please yeah. don't. Please. Yeah, please don't. Um, And yeah, um, the only other thing I want to talk about really quick. I don't know if you've seen this beautiful, beautiful little creature that's been going around on the internet. Mudeng. Oh, my In Thailand. God. Yes. <laughs> Bitch, that hippo. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, my God. I keep thinking about that fucking hippo. I never skip one of her videos. It, Him, her. Literally, mom. today in the morning, it was all over my For You page. She's so cute. I know. She'd just be munching on the fucking zookeepers. <laughs> I'd be like, munch on me, little girl. Munch on me. That sounded wrong, but... <laughs> but, you know, she likes to... She likes to nibble. She likes, oh, she's so cute. I just had to bring her up because she's so cute. Mm-hmm. No, you don't like the hippo. Yes, I like the hippo, but oh, I was gonna be like, Whoa. <laughs> no, I like the hippo. The hippo got a bunch of fans. You don't yeah. want to piss them off. No, I like the hippo. Okay, I just she's told so you cute. it was all over my for you page this morning. She's so cute. She's like gray and she's like pink and then. Would she's you so... have a Would you have a pet hippo? No, because it grows. You keep it, but bro, you know... leave Mudang alone. Leave Mudang alone. <laughs> they be throwing fucking water at her and like shit from yeah. afar. Leave her alone. <laughs> fucking animals bro just leave the animals alone but yes okay that's all i have to say priscilla's for the animal rights if you I didn't am, know yes if you yeah. guys don't know i'm pescatarian i yeah. only fish i'm chicketarian <laughs> <laughs> i made my own fun fact i made my own um yes. meat choice oh my god if someone decides to open a wiki on us <laughs> fun fact chicketarian pescatarian <laughs> um scorpio pisces. pisces water signs yeah slay Sleep, period <laughs> <laughs> um what else birthday november 12th mm-hmm. not gonna tell you the year <laughs> i'm just kidding i've already said 1998 march 11th yes so whoever went. my year <laughs> 2001. 2001 i'm a 2000s girly baby but you know you never yeah. know maybe yeah. there's a wiki out there i don't know there isn't but if we ever get famous 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 mm. we move to hollywood not gonna happen where would you move to mm, i don't know i don't know you mean like if i was rich rich yeah <sighs> damn bitch i don't know maybe the hamptons that sounds nice a house by the water no one bothered me no nah. that sounds nice right we should go to the hamptons we could be we could we should vacation there. we should vacation there we could be neighbors i that sounds like a plan yeah period. right kids years from now running the lawns friends our kids are going to be best friends. Yes. <laughs> I'm having girls. I refuse to have men. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding. I honestly feel like... I mean, I want one boy because I want to put him in hockey. <laughs> but I feel like my boyfriend gives off girl 
dad vibes. He does. He does. Yeah, he does. And a girl is just like your little mini you, yeah. bro. Yeah, I don't bond. gotta deal with no fucking dick and balls. No, have Shit, you seen those baby weird. penises? They're scary, bro. And I don't gotta. Oh my god, they're scary. Like, him getting someone else pregnant. Like if my daughter gets pregnant. You get me? I could deal with it. It's, yeah, it's but if he gets someone else pregnant, god damn it, yeah, bro. bro. Then you gotta deal with their family and shit. <laughs> but, but we're gonna be good mother in laws. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, we will. We will. But yeah. Yeah, guys. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Girl, b- favorite books? Oh. Um, okay, say favorite series or favorite book of the year. Just one. This year? Girl, that's fucking hard. Pick one. You haven't had that many five star reads. <laughs> I know, wait, but I need to go into my. Dreams. I know what mine is. For sure, I always mention this book, and I fucking love this person, Miss Ivy Ophelia, yeah. the poisoner. Seasoner. Always, always. That's We're waiting one on of, book two. That's one of the books this year that I was just like, mm, fucking hey, I still think about it. But, anyways, let me see. Oh, no, this is my TBR. <laughs> let me not go into that. <laughs> Let's see um, what are the books that I really, really liked this year. Um, okay. Oh, Academy for Liars. I just finished reading it. Mm-hmm. Fucking mind fuck. By Alexis Henderson. Dark Academia. If you're into that, you could, you should go read it. <gasps> Bitch. Psycho Academy. Okay, so that one. Psycho Academy. If you had to pick one. One? One. Fuck, girl. There's or one series. Or one series. Two. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, my God. Whispers of the Deep. <laughs> what? Did you really like those two dicks that much? I like the book. It was good. Okay, for the year? Mm-hmm. For the year. For the year. Damn, girl. Okay, it's between. You know what, bro? I might have to give it to Nectar the Wicked. Nectar the Wicked. Oh my god, a rivalry of hearts was so good. The poisoner. Those are the ones I'm gonna say. Those are those are like the okay. ones that I constantly think about this year. What about you? And then we could easy. Easy, 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 easy. I already know one that you're already going to say. It's by Lay Rivers. Yes, it's going to be the Edge of Darkness trilogy by Lay Rivers. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? If you guys have not read that book, you it's a you guys need to go pick up that trilogy. Like, I'm going to fucking sob just thinking about it. But I feel like those books are like not even mentioned that much. And she's like pretty popular now. Wait, so that's the only one? If I had to pick like my top the books that I have not stopped thinking about. Give me three. Give me three. Fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's three. That's a trilogy. Yeah, but yes, but... if you guys have not, or if you guys have read Little Stranger, and you guys have not read the Edge of Darkness trilogy, I don't know what you're doing because... Which one is the second one coming out? Little Liar is coming out Monday. Oh. I believe. Oh. We're back with Malachi. But guess what? Oh. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? If you guys decide to read the Edge of Darkness trilogy, Cade, who's the main character, his dad, Tobias. That man. He's going to be a little liar. And so is Sebastian, which is his best friend. Um, Question, are we doing it on the pod? It depends on you guys. It I mean, we have, we have October plans, unless you're planning on wearing a gas mask. <laughs> How are we going to talk? We're going to be... <laughs> Darth Vader? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, top, top books. Top books. Top books of this year. Damn, girl. You really going to make me choose like that? Okay, just just two then. <laughs> just two. Honestly, okay. Honestly, I have really... Like, lately, the shit that I have been reading has been good. Like, I have been blessed by the book gods lately. Okay. So, honorable mentions. Okay. Obsession and Conjure, both by Harley Beck. Uh Uh-huh. What the fuck? Both of them. Amazing. Mind fuck. Okay. The Edge of Darkness trilogy, Lay Rivers. Okay, those three? Mm. One more? Wild Eyes. Okay. Elsie Silver. I know her. I know Elsie. Because Wes. I know Miss Girl. Oh my God. There's just one scene that I just can't get it out of my head. 
just can't get mm. you out of my head. Like, okay. He put spit in her mouth and then told her to spit on his dick. Fuck yeah. She said her mouth was dry. So he said, baby, open up. And then he spit in her mouth. And then he said, spit on my dick. And she spit on his dick. I don't want a man spitting in my mouth. I'm a, like, germ person. I barely even share things. Yeah, I know. I barely even <laughs> share oh, drinks. Oh, 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 oh. How did I fucking forget? Lights out. Oh, that's true. Oh, my the masked, God. The masked, the masked man. It said I went and yeah. bought my boyfriend a mask. We've been having a good time. So that, that concludes this video. <laughs> <laughs> this <episode>. <laughs> <laughs> so that concludes this episode. Um, again, mm. you won't have us next mm. week, probably. Probably not. Maybe. Probably not, guys. But probably we not. still have clips from guess the book quote, and then and then from this video. and then from this one. Yeah. So which, guess what? Eat it up. God damn. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. We do have. We can give them a little sneak peek as to one of the books. Okay. That's going to be part of our Halloween special. Okay. We are going to be doing Priest. Because we're going to be nuns. So innocent, guys. Yeah. Because we are so pure. We're going to be. We're God fearing Christian women. Mm hmm. Yeah. I just love being on my knees. And that's praying <laughs> to Jesus. <laughs> So it's like my Christ. favorite thing to do. Jesus Christ. I love being on my knees. Um, but yes, that will be that, probably the first video after this. Yeah. The first book after this. We have a couple. Yes. Actually, we need your help. I mean, we have a few ideas, but we need a vampire book. Vampire. I don't know. Okay, but Depends yeah, on them. whatever you guys yeah, want. whatever you guys want. But yeah, we need a vampire book. Mm -hmm. Um, not from Blood and Ash. Too long. Too long. It's just a series. Yes. No, we need to stand alone. Yes. Like I, I might have one in mind. I don't know, but. But yeah, guys. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's. We hope much you guys it. enjoyed this video. Yeah. It's not our typical video. But, but I have fun. I don't know. Yeah. We hope that you fun. enjoyed and sat down and laughed and. Yeah. And just listened to shit. Girl, we yeah. became a, a drama channel real quick. Yeah. Um, but we talked yeah. to all the cheese men with you yes. guys. Yes. But again, we love you. We thank bookmarks. you. Bookmarks tomorrow. Well, today, technically. Yeah, today. Today. Link right in bio. Just go link in bio right yes. now. It's um, going to be there. You're not. It's okay if you don't want them. It's okay if you think they're yeah. ugly. <laughs> don't tell us if you think don't they're ugly. Don't tell us, please. We worked very hard. But, be gentle. But be yeah. gentle with our souls. If you do, thank you so much for everything, for all the yeah. love and support. We always tell you guys this that we love you. Yes. And you're everything. Um, and yeah, until next, next time, time. Bye. bye.